Hi, I'm Mike from Real Voice LA. Today we're going to talk about breath removal in Audacity. Let's dive in. Okay, so we're here in Audacity, and today we're going to talk about two ways to take care of breaths. Let's listen to the original read. Mike Delay. Finally, a credit card that treats you like you'd treat you. Get it today at discover.com. Woo! Maybe I need an agent. Now that we've heard the read, you can hear there's two breaths that are a little distracting. So let's take a look at the first way with the first breath. So we're going to use silence audio selection. There's two ways you can find it. There's one in your toolbar here where the mouse is and the other way, which it says also here, Command L. So all you need to do is highlight the breath that you want to affect and either click this or hit Command L and you'll see that the breath just disappears. So let's listen before. Mic delay. And then after. Mic delay. Fine. Very effective. So the reason this might not be ideal is it removes all sound from the file. If you're in your bedroom, walk-in closet, living room, anywhere that most people are doing voiceover auditions, there's room tone. There's this constant hum that's created from everywhere in your apartment. Traffic outside, your dishwasher, whatever. Uh, it removes all of that. And it might sound unnatural. After the slate, before the read, it actually sounds pretty good. If you go in the middle of a read, sometimes you want those catch breaths to add the human element. Or it just sounds weird to take it completely away. So let's go to this middle breath and look at the second method that just turns it down instead of gets rid of it. So we're going to highlight the breath and we're going to go to effect and amplify. We're going to turn it down by minus 3 dB. I just type in minus 3, hit OK, and you can see that it turned down. Let's listen before you treat you. Get it? And after you treat you. Get it's pretty subtle, but we can do it again or just do twice as much, do minus 6 dB and see that it almost gets rid of it. But if you hear, let's before, you treat you. And after, you treat you. Get it today. It's still there. It still sounds human. Uh, so I think that's a great way to approach this. So real quick review, let's go over the two ways. There's silence audio selection, which is right here in the toolbar, or command L. Or there's also effect amplify, and we just type in how much we want to, minus 6 dB, say OK. That will be it. Thanks everybody for watching. Remember to like, follow, and subscribe. If you guys have any suggestions or specific things that you'd like to see us cover in these tutorials, let us know. We'd like to be able to help you. See you in the booth.